Okay, hi everyone, I'm Shana and today we have Tess with us. Hi guys! So both of us are from SMU Social Science and we wanted to talk about our academics and also just SMU life in general. Yeah, so um, just to introduce ourselves, I'm majoring in Politics, Law, Economics and this is like a major in um, SOCI in SMU. For me, I'm majoring in Sociology and I'm taking a different course from Shana. It's not a PLE, right? Yours is PLE. Yeah. yeah, mine is PPS. So it's, um, you can choose between Psychology, uh, Political Science and Sociology. Mm. Yeah, so I can just share about like how I decided to take this in the first place. So in JC, I took um, Helm, which is History, Econs, Literature, Math. And I think it was very like readings heavy and very like writing heavy. So I wanted to do a degree that has a lot of writing. So I think social science to me was like the most um, straightforward uh, decision to make because I know that it has a lot of like readings and writings. And I consulted a few of my seniors and I knew that one of them was in this course. So he was talking about how he really enjoyed it and during the open house like when I talked to them um, I think when I was reading all the modules that they offered I was quite interested because it has the potential of going into public policy which at that time I was quite interested in yeah so how about you right okay actually in JC I also took um, gel I took gel mm, so I okay. took geography instead of history okay. and sim similar as you like I really enjoy writing and I think that um, Studying social science has really made me allow allowed me to think better. Your writing is a reflection of how you think, right? Yeah. So um, the reason why I choose um, sociology instead of like psychology, so I was debating between the two, mm. either social or psych, and eventually I decided to go for sociology because I think that um, um although both are interesting, I think that uh, because as humans, right, we interact with people in so society. Yeah. So as much as you can study about oh psychology, like um, what goes into what kind of um, hormones, what kind of um, all these processes in your in, in your psychology, right? The, the science behind it, but fundamentally we still interact with people, we still interact with um, people in society, so that's why I think that sociology is um, more interesting to study. Mm. Yeah. Okay, then do you consider political science also? No, like I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. just not really as interested. Yeah. Okay, I think I was deciding more between like Paul science and sociology, because I know mm. psych is like um, quite like bio, bio maybe. yes, because yeah, you need yeah, to learn bio. like the the features of the brain and all yeah, that. Correct. Yeah, the so anatomy. do you have any second majors? Oh yes, I actually majored in marketing as my second okay. major. So I think you are also interested. Yeah, same, yeah. same. Yeah, so when I started, I was doing a double degree with business, and then mm -hmm. after that, um, when I got to explore some of the business modules, I realized that I was more comfortable with marketing or maybe something like strategy or cop comms. But I think most people were taking marketing and I did find it quite like interesting. Right. Yeah. Actually I was deciding also between marketing or comms. Okay. Com comms, yeah. Like, I decided to go with marketing. Okay. Yeah. I think like because I wanted something that is more like at the point of time I was quite interested in like consulting. Mm. That I think marketing can kind of learn a bit of like sh strategy, like how to come up with a Campaign, campaign, yeah. yeah <laughs> so correct. I think that, that that was more relevant to me at that mm -hmm. point of time. So how has your experience in like sociology and marketing been? Like, do you see any um intersections between these two like disciplines? Yeah, that actually is a very interesting question. I think that definitely there's a lot of um uh in overlaps between mm. the two. And I mean, if you look at marketing, if you look at um how people come up with marketing campaigns. Mm. A lot of times it's um you have to understand what is the societal norms and you have to play by the rules of society. And mm. also um there's also like psychology involved okay. when you study like consumer behavior. Yeah. Um yeah. So it's very in very much interlinked I would say. Yeah. yeah. I would think that for mine, like maybe the intersection is not as clear because mm. like political science and econs like gives you the background of where like all the businesses operate within. But mm. marketing is like um it's a bit more specific. There is some link here and there, but it's not as as, uh, as direct, clear. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not as direct a link <laughs> as with like uh, psychology or sociology. Mm. I think now we can talk about like what mods we decided to take because even when you go into like certain majors or tracks, there's like core modules, but then there's always like the option of taking certain electives. electives yeah. yeah. So usually when you take like your electives, like what is your thought process? Mm, I think for me is I will just choose mods that I'm interested in. Okay. So what I will do is I will read the course outline the on on what's it called 
Boss, boss, right? Yeah, I'll read it on boss, and then um, I'll just see what are the topics that the instructor will cover, and yeah. also um, what are some of the readings that you know are they are they do they even seem interesting or not? Okay. Uh? Yeah, because you have to do the readings, right? It's a huge yeah. part of the course. Um, and then I also ask my seniors whether they have taken the mod before, yeah. and then um, if they have, um, I can reference some of their PowerPoint slides mm. and just look at it to familiarize myself with it if I'm interested. Mm. Um. And also like um, some of the modules, right? Especially I, I would say for business mods like marketing, mm. right? The group project is very heavy, yeah. so it can go up to like forty <laughs> percent. Yeah. yeah, like both of us are actually taking a similar, uh, same mod, and then the group project is like quite heavy. Yeah. So it will be good if you can group with your friends or someone or some some people lah that you know can can. They are good. That you know are hardworking. That you know are hardworking. Yeah. Because I think like if your group doesn't work well together, it causes a lot of like unnecessary stress, stress. for yourself. Mm. Yeah, I think my my process is quite similar to yours. So like mm. I will read through like the course outline or so, and then see if it's interesting. And then sometimes like you know what is on the course outline may not be the actual like case, right? So I will check with seniors who have gone through that class before and see if. Like it's really as interesting as they make it out to be, mm. and then whether I have any friends that can group together with me. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think there's also this new website, right? Yeah. The oh, oh, there's class. this new website that is um like created by SMU students that mm. helps you to look at the bid prices and look at the reviews by profs. So I think it came around when we were around like year two, year three. Year three, I think. Yeah. Which was really really helpful because previously we had to go and like manually check on boss. What are the the past bid prices? And there's no like consolidated website to look at reviews, so you never know when there's gonna be like bid inflation or deflation. Yeah. Yeah. I think now with this is quite helpful. It's quite helpful. Yeah. yeah. So like the rule of thumb I use is like I will look at the past bid prices and then look at the reviews. So if mm. the reviews are super good, I know there's gonna be an inflation for that semester. So I yeah. will like increase my bids. Mm, yeah. yeah. It's a whole art of bidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a whole new skill. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so like now we've already discussed like how we always like bid for modules and maybe now we can discuss a bit on like how classes are really like in SMU. So mm. I think for social science modules and compared to other modules in SMU, it might be a bit different. Like, okay, from, from like personal experience, when I was doing some of my business mods, I realized that there's less class participation. So like when I did financial accounting or I did finance, it's like the prof will just like teach the content and then you're just you're just absorbing. like yeah you're just <laughs> absorbing I mean yeah. there is a bit of like uh, participation here and there with like talking to your group mates and all that but it's definitely not as much as with social science mm. so like when in a lot of my political science and my law mods there's a lot of discussion and I think I really quite enjoy the discussion because you get to understand like people's um, perspective and sometimes it's like a bit more controversial like yeah what, I remember one of my my mod on legal theory uh, we discussed a lot of issues like abortion and mm. like um, euthanasia like whether this should be made legal and then it was very fun because um, we are forced to like challenge our own assumptions yeah do you have any like similar experiences? yes 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 yeah so I agree with you totally agree with you it's like because I think we both take like courses from social science and business right so you can really see the distinction um, I think every class right I tell myself to speak up so when I was in year one I found it quite hard la, to yeah. actually cope with this culture because it's like everybody is like raising yeah. their hands and things like that um, but I think one thing that helped me was um, whenever I feel like my heart is my heart rate is increase like you know increasing right that means I have, I'm, I'm nervous because yeah. I think that I have something to say then yeah. I'll just immediately raise up my hand yeah, 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 yeah because if not the next moment right I'll my brain will just tell me okay um other people already have a better answer than you things like that oh that's yeah, true that's yeah, true yeah. actually I use this tactic also because right. like usually the first person who answers you just say like you just need to say something basic right and then mm. the the answer gets more nuanced and nuanced as it goes by yeah then like. I'm not like the brightest, so mm. I would just immediately say. Just so raise that, your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yeah. So that's okay. one tip, lah. Um. Yeah. So I think one module that I really enjoy, um, in sociology is called deconstructing Singapore society. Okay. So we have you taken about? <laughs> no, but no, I heard about it. About yeah. it. Yeah. It's actually quite interesting, ah, cause you get to understand about Singapore society and also like um, it's a bit of like political science in a sense. Okay. You understand like Singapore's policy and how it mm. affects Singaporeans, and then there's another mod called. 
about um, gender and family. Mm. So that mod is about um, gender norms and mm. how it influences family and marriage. Mm. So for example, they talk about how women, like the working mothers, uh, yep. they actually face a double bind. So okay. they have a dilemma between work and family. So mm. if they, let's say, go on maternity leave, they're yep. actually spending more time with the family, but they're sacrificing like their work. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. these kind of things are very interesting. And when people in class talk about yeah. their opinions, it makes it even more mm-hmm. interesting to learn because, yeah. yeah, they just have very different viewpoints and we, you know, come from different backgrounds. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, actually, now that you talk about all that, right, I, I suddenly remember that, like, so you know, sometimes people ask me, like, actually, what is the relevance of social science when you go out to work because it's not like you need to discuss on these sort of social issues like poverty or like oh, the law yeah. itself yeah then one thing that I learned is like during my like now I'm doing a marketing internship in Unilever right and a very big part of marketing is to make your like marketing campaigns very relevant mm-hmm. so we always look at what are the social issues that are happening now and then how we can link it to the brand purpose so actually in that respect i feel that social science is quite relevant because you know like um like the profiling of different people based on their perspectives you mm-hmm. know about the nuances within different social issues and you're able to come up with like a better marketing like campaign or strategy yeah, yeah. yeah correct totally yeah. agree yeah Okay, mm. so um, thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. If you want to find out more about like CCAs or internships, you can go and watch Tess' video where we will discuss these more in depth. Yep. Okay. See you. Okay.